I'm gonna be honest. Only thing I'm trying to do for Valentine's Day is have a baby. Not make a baby, nasties. Have a baby child. All the pink was gone. Whoever took every single last one of those hair dyes that was pink, you dead wrong in your mom's house. Hey y'all, it's your girl Lay Luxuries and I'm back with another video and as you can tell by the title of this video, this is a Valentine's Day get ready with me if you want to see how I got into this list, this is really look, you know what I mean, cause your girl is giving, I'm, I'm very much giving and unfortunately y'all, I know I put nails in the title but I was not able to record my nails, me getting them done but they came out so bomb. Yeah, big V-Day nails, big Valentine's Day nails. I love this. It's giving very much Dorothy, very much clack your heels three times so you can get home. You know what I'm saying? And then this wig is by Beauty Forever, which this video is sponsored. Oh, and I'm also going to show you all how I installed this wig and how I colored this wig. Because this wig did not look like this at first. Your girl went ahead and colored it and everything just for y'all so y'all can see how to get a v-day look and i did this full face makeup baby i just did it all i did it all and i showed you how you could do it all and look at my top this is a cute uh top if y'all looked at my last video which was a sheen haul this was actually the top from that haul so yeah i told y'all it was a sweetheart type of look and it was giving very much v-day vibes so i went ahead and threw it on and baby it worked <laughs> it looks amazing so yeah y'all let me know um what y'all think about this look and we just gonna go ahead and get into it oh yeah let's get into it yeah anyway so y'all yeah this gonna be a little bit like a vlog style but before y'all get to talking about me i don't know what you look like so let's not go there. Let's not even do that. You know what I mean? So let me um go ahead and get into why we're here. As you can tell by the title of the video, y'all already know it's a V-Day type of get ready with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm getting ready a little early. A little early for y'all. Because I already know y'all finna be last minute anyways, and y'all finna be on YouTube looking for a look. Just like me. So, I decided this is like the perfect time, baby. The perfect time for me to go ahead and do this look. Because I really been wanting to wear a red wig. And then I really been wanting to wear Chinese bangs. And, then, and I also got this sponsorship that I'm about to show y'all. Look familiar? Does it look familiar, baby? <laughs> it's a beauty forever sponsorship because they back with your girl. And y'all already know how they do with the quality on their hair. Their hair was bomb the last time that we used it. So we're going to use it again. But they didn't send me a real wig. And it's Valentine's Day. But they sent me one of their highlighted wigs. And I decided, you know what? This will be so fire if I can watercolor this red. Since it's already highlighted, so it's kind of like already blonde anyways. And then there'll be like a deep red and then some highlights of light red. In my head, it makes sense. So hopefully, it makes sense when we do it. But they sent me lashes. Y'all already know, scarf, lashes, clips, and a wig cap good because I think I'm out. I think I'm completely out of wig caps. Uh-uh, did y'all fall in my bed? My fault? My fault? But yeah. Oh, they sent me two clutch because, like I said, I'm out and I haven't shopped for no weed caps in I don't know how long because I bought a bulk of them. Beautiful. Ever. I need to start actually using the bags that they sent me because I never use the bags. I just toss the wig or if I sell the wig, then I just leave for sale. Oh, yeah. And that's another thing. Whenever I'm doing these sponsorships, y'all. If y'all go to my website or click the link in the bio, y'all can buy these wigs. They're pre-worn and I'm selling them for like a super discounted price for like $100 or something. So, save your money. Buy the wig after I wear the wig. And y'all already know I know what I'm doing when it comes to the wig. And nine times out of ten, like most of these wigs I do now, it's not even glued. 
all of them are pretty much glueless because I like that method better. So, yeah. Another reason that I'm going to go ahead and dye it red is because they sent me this highlighted wig. And y'all, this wig, y'all already know their quality is bomb. The lace is transparent and it's super thin. So, lace is bomb. The knots, the knots for the most part are bleached. I don't think I'm going to bleach the knots because I'm turning it red anyway. So, I typically like to do the, um, whenever I dye wigs, I typically like to do like applicator brush type of thing. I don't really do the watercolor because I always be nervous about the lace. But we can put Beauty Forever lace to the test and watercolor this wig. But yeah. But the wig itself is actually bomb. They gave it to me highlighted. So if you like this highlighted look, then go with the highlighted look. But me personally, this highlighted wig looks so freaking bad on me. Like the colors... I wore a highlighted wig in one of my previous videos. I think it was like a couple videos ago. Y'all can go check that out. I mean, I made it look good and I wore it for like my baby shower. But as far as what look good on your girl, it's not highlighted. But red, I know for sure red gonna pop on your girl. So we gonna dye this wig. I just wanted to show y'all what it came like. The quality is amazing. Y'all already know Beauty Forever be doing their thing. And y'all gonna see by the end of this video how it holds up whenever you're wanting to dye their wig. So that you could just buy the highlighted wig and then watercolor it if you want that type of red look. Don't touch my nails, did my nails, and y'all it is so freaking pretty. But I'm gonna put this hot water in this sink. And if it's stained the sink, bleach should get that out. I have bought some hair color. Now, originally, bro, when I went to the beauty supply, all the pink was gone. Whoever took every single last one of those hair dyes that was pink, you did wrong in your mom's house. Cause baby, all the pink, all of it was gone. It was nothing but like the dusty pinks that you wouldn't even put on no wig, child. That was, ooh, disgusting. And then, let me see. Do I even have some? No. Of course, I ain't got no pink at the crib. Of course, I don't have no pink at the crib. So, I had to get red. And they didn't even have the red that I wanted. So, I got two of these. Hopefully, it's enough. I hope. But I got the Adore, of course, in Raving Red and Ruby Red. And I think this going to make it do what it do. I didn't want to get something too dark, but I also didn't want to get something too bright because um, I'm going to be honest, I didn't look at the wig until I just pulled it out just now. I should have looked at it. And I could do a bleach bath if I want to go brighter, but I already have a bright red wig and I'm not trying to give bright red. I'm trying to give Highlights a bright red, but some dark red in there. And they can do what it do. Ooh, let me make sure this thing is not flooding over, child. Y'all, I'm about to flood the house. I done lost my mind. <laughs> I done lost my mind because I'm about to flood this freaking house. I'm going to take equal parts of this stuff. And then I'm just going to... And I'm going to just put it in this hot water and hopefully make it do what you do. I'm going to let it sit for like 10 minutes and then I'll be back. I'm going to rinse it and wash it and then see if it stays this red. And if it stays this red, then I'm going to go ahead and dry it. If it don't stay this red and it like loses its color pretty much, then I'm gonna do this one more time and then see what we get, but I think we're good. And I'm using a Color Radiant Pantene Shampoo and Conditioner. The lace is still transparent. So that's a good thing, you know what I'm saying? Beauty Forever didn't, didn't skip out on the lace. But the only thing that I will say is um, I could still see the brown 
in it just a little bit like the dark brown i can see some of the dark brown but it's still tinted like how so it's not it's not dark brown it's like uh why am i out of breath child <laughs> probably because i was washing this hair for 20 minutes but um it's like a maroon and i'm so mad y'all y'all seen my nails and now they like they're more pink right there which still ain't a bad thing because it's valentine's vibe so it's giving it's giving very much strawberry now we got the strawberry nails but right now i'm just gonna let this dry and because i really want to get my pictures in while it's still daylight out i think what i'm gonna do is uh set the blow dryer on this mood because i'm just on i'm just gonna be uh what's call it uh blow drying it out straight because i'm gonna wear it straight so i really ain't gotta do all the extra to it and straighten it it's not gonna take a long time because this uh takes heat very well so i'm just gonna set the blow dryer on the inside of the cap because i do not want to put on no freaking wet wig that's disgusting and I'm going to just let this pretty much run by itself. And then while that's going, then I'm going to do my braid down, my ball cap. And I'm probably more than likely I'm going to start on my makeup. Because that's going to take me a minute. All right. So I just finished blow drying the wig. And of course, you already know the red did get brighter. And it still has that brown kind of look. So it's like brown and red. But mm, it ain't bad. It's a dark red like I wanted it. So... This is really like a super quick way to go ahead and get that um, look. And I'm still gonna do Chinese bangs because I just really wanna do Chinese bangs. I already put my hair back cause I'm really only gonna wear this for like a day, maybe two days. So I'm gonna do a glueless method and I've shown this method so many times already. So what I'm really gonna do is just put like a little time lapse and let y'all watch me do it because yeah i'll explain some stuff that i'm doing before i get to doing it but right now i'm just gonna put some alcohol on uh put this wig on put my elastic back on elastic uh, la, 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 la. <laughs> dang put my elastic band on and um secure this wig and then i'm going to style it so that's all i'm doing i'm just gonna flat iron it and i might come back when i cut it y'all just gonna see it and watch your girl do what it do All right, y'all. So this is gonna be this the final look, child. It is what it is. I didn't pluck, so that's just looking how it's gonna look. Um, definitely only wearing this for a day to get my picture. It's not bad, but I definitely have to put on makeup. Like this ain't something I could just wear and then be all right. But it don't look bad. The quality of the wig, of course, is perfect. The lace is good. If I would have bleached the knots, it would have looked better. And like it flat ironed, super easy to take heat well. It obviously take color. The lace didn't, you know, color whenever I did the uh, watercolor method. So the wig itself, y'all, shop with them. The wig is good, but was well, good for like an affordable wig or whatever. But on me, like, I think I like the lighter reds on me. I don't know. I don't know if I'm feeling the way I have it like highlighted red. I probably would have, I probably should have bleach washed this, but y'all, I'm so lazy. I'm so lazy. And then I think I'm going to end up loving it. I know I'm going to end up loving it in the end. It's just, child, my stomach hurting. Everything is just getting on my nerves right now. And I, I don't know if I'm hungry, but my mama, <laughs> she's so cute. She, uh, <laughs> She made she cut up my oranges and stuff like that because she know I my mama she just be doing sweet stuff. But she put on here for Leia and uh my baby's name. Which if you peeped it, you peeped it. If you didn't, you didn't. <laughs> Y'all gonna find that out later. But I already picked my baby's name out like completely, but uh I don't wanna tell y'all until I'm all the way short. So yeah. Oh my goodness, my stomach's hurting. 
but the wig is super long too this is a 24 inch but it goes all the way down to my butt which y'all will see in pictures or you probably you probably seen it in the thumbnail so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start on my makeup and um i think i'm gonna talk to y'all i'm really not gonna i'm gonna do a full face of course because this is like a valentine's day look um but i don't think i'm gonna do eyeshadow only because like you cannot see my <laughs> you can't see it so i'm gonna focus more on the face this time and i'm actually gonna start with the face which is crazy because i never start with the face comment down below what y'all doing for valentine's day not to be in y'all business but uh for me i'm gonna tell y'all what i'm doing oh this is uh i haven't used this in so long but for some reason something's telling me to use it but this is the ordinary primer um it's a high spreadability fluid primer and it's like this jelly kind of thing and it just makes it so smooth it doesn't have the tackiness which i wish it did and i'm just gonna like i said focus this on my face i'm probably not even gonna do my um forehead like i'm gonna touch up on my brows like a little bit but you cannot even see them i'm gonna be honest only thing i'm trying to do for them today is have a baby not make a baby nasty have a baby child i'm trying to have this child and be done with it i'm gonna let that sit for a little bit and i'm gonna touch up on my brows and y'all already know i do my brows the same way every time i doubt i'm gonna change it the only way i'll change it is if i go back and get the uh what's it called the uh morphe eyebrow the pencils the one you could twist up not an actual pencil but the one you twist up that one, I loved it when I had it. But then I had, for some reason, I don't know why I bought the dip. But the dip looked good, too. And so, I'm just going to touch up. I really only do, like, the tail of my eyebrows because it's the only area that's not as thick as what I would want it. So, yeah. For Valentine's Day, baby, I'm trying to get this child out of me. Like, it is not giving what it's supposed to give. And I can't stand seeing, like, so many more people are getting pregnant. Y'all already know pregnancy is like a whole wave right now. But I can't stand how so many people are making it look like it's so fun. I'm probably one of those people where y'all look at me and y'all be like, well, yeah, it looks like you're having fun. But it's a lot. Because I be in so much freaking pain. And I'm having, like, all kinds of Braxton Hicks all kinds of just unnecessary pains and i can't eat fast food at all at first i thought it was like okay i can't eat like cheap fast food like i can't eat mcdonald's or wendy's which is stuff that i would eat not really mcdonald's but more so like wendy's i baby a foe for foe that's me all day but like as soon as i ate a four for four i threw every part of that four for four up i threw all four pieces of that four for four up and i was just like bro really so i'm like okay maybe she bougie and so yesterday i had and this has been going on for literally months it was in, in my first trimester she would not eat seafood i mean not seafood she wouldn't eat um fast food and then my second trimester i was pretty much good it was like i wasn't even pregnant and all i was doing was getting bigger like i was good and then um my third trimester she's not eating any fast food like i can't i had chick-fil-a yesterday and threw up all of it like oh uh, it, it made me so sick and Ch y'all know chick-fil-a is like a higher end fast food like you you want some chicken that's actually chicken <laughs> more than likely then you would go to chick-fil-a and yeah she didn't like it so i'm convinced my daughter is bougie i'm gonna go ahead and conceal underneath my brows um just to bring some brightness so what i'm gonna do is since i'm not gonna wear any eyeshadow i'm just gonna do a really light concealer so that would be my uh ain't this maybelline yeah maybelline fit me y'all know i'll be using drugstore brands but maybelline fit me in the shade 22 week and I'm just going to conceal my eyebrows just so that it's some brightness under there. And y'all could kind of maybe sort of see it. I'm going to do it real quick. I ain't going to talk because I need, I don't need my Chinese bangs <laughs> sitting on the side of my face. 
like no and then i'm gonna take my morphe uh banana powder and then that's what i'm gonna set my eyes with because like i said i just need to i want it to be bright but uh <laughs> just so that you'll be able to notice it a little bit under these bangs so i'm just gonna throw this on as if it was like a like it's setting it, but it's also playing a part like an eyeshadow almost. And I'm gonna do, hopefully this don't look crazy, but I wanna do like a dramatic eyeliner, but I've never done that before, so we finna see. And this is using the uh, NYX. <laughs> what is this? I'm gonna just clean it up and I'm, I'm gonna leave it like this. I'm so focused on this look because I really don't wanna miss this up and I'm not sure where it's going. I don't know where I'm going with this at all. Like, I don't know how it's gonna turn out. I can't even tell y'all that it's gonna look good because at this point, if this whole video get deleted and y'all never see it, I wouldn't be surprised. <gasps> it wasn't dry. It wasn't dry, no. It was not dry, y'all. Oh my goodness. It wasn't dry. Uh, if I say that one more time. I can't even care too much because I got big lashes. Let me put on these Layla Luxury's lashes because I can't, I can't continue my video like this. I cannot. I'm going in with the Juvia's Place, y'all seen? In my last uh, makeup videos, I've been using NYX, but NYX is not a, it's not a full, full coverage. Whereas Juvia's Place is like full blown coverage. This is the velvety matte one in the shade Savannah. This is if I really want to just like, baby, I don't want to see no bumps, no blemish, no nothing. If I want to look flawless, Juvia's Place is where it's at. So I'm going to take a little brush the same brush i use concealer with and i'm just gonna apply this everywhere and i need to not go so heavy on it with it because y'all see at first it look like it's not even my shade you gotta you gotta blend it in baby you just gotta blend it in now i'm gonna go in with i think i'm gonna blend yeah i'm gonna blend it with a brush so i'm gonna just use this brush it's just a regular foundation brush which i don't know the name of but if you want a brand use the real techniques brush in uh 200 that's a good brush that's what i used to use for my foundation i stopped because i had to start using that specific one for my concealer and i was just like let me just use this one for foundation and make it work and so I'm just going to press this in and I'm going to bring it up to my forehead just a little bit. Just so that we ain't looking too crazy. You know, if the wind blowing in, somebody see. <laughs> somebody see between your Chinese bangs and it's going to be like, oh, so you decided to do half your face, huh? <laughs> and don't nobody need to know what we be doing. It ain't none of their business what we do. But it blends in so well. It feels so good on my skin, too. Like, it just looks amazing. And if you want to take the extra step, like, you can go in with a beauty blender. Uh, I should have wet it, but I didn't. I'm going to go in with two concealers. I'm going to go in with my NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop um, concealer in the shade Neutral Buff. And this is to conceal. And then for added highlight, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me uh, shade 22. The same one that I went in on my eyes. And I'm going to add it just in that little part. Because I love, 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 love that highlighted look. Like, that highlighted look where it's like super, super bright is so, it's so cute to me. Like, I just love it. And I'm going to blend this out first. And I'm going to blend it out with my Real Techniques 200. Just because I want to press it in. Normally, I would blend it out with my Beauty Blender. But I don't want for the Beauty Blender to pick up too much of it to where it, like, disappears. 
So I'm literally just pressing it in. Like I'm not trying to spread it outside of where I put it. I'm just pressing it in right where I put it. I'm gonna go in with this one. Cause I do want that super, super, super right. Like I want it to look like I got on a full face of makeup. I'm not trying to go natural. I'm not trying to look like this, my skin. No, baby. I need you to know I painted my face. I painted my whole face. You know what I'm saying? And all this stuff that I'm using, y'all, I have not have a problem with as far as how long it lasts. So, if you're going to do what you do on Valentine's Day, it's going to last. I'm not gonna do it right here and right here because that's plenty highlight for me. The only things I like really highlighted is my nose and my under eyes. And I'm gonna use the same brush I blended out my eyes with. I'm gonna use this, this one. This isn't the perfect one for this, but hey, it's good enough. Cause normally like I would use a beauty blender, but I'm just trying this technique because I seen someone use like a smaller brush and I was like, that's smart because I ain't got one. I need one. I ain't got it though. So in the meantime, I could just use this and I should have let it dry down more, but because I know I'm going in with a translucent powder and this stuff can dry really quickly and it'll, it'll stay like white and we'll need that. I'm just going to go ahead and start blending. I'm gonna lightly set it with the banana powder, but I'm gonna bake it with the translucent. But I just don't want for it to crease under my eyes. I'm gonna go in with my contour, and this is in the Merit Beauty foundation stick in the shade Sepia. And I love, 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 love. This contour, like the shade is perfect on me. Everything, when I ordered it, um, when I ordered it, they sent this, this was a sponsorship. And so they had sent it to me, but they was just like, pick out online, you know, what shade you are, of course. And so y'all know how online makeup shopping be like, it's difficult. Cause the shade that you looking at don't never come in the way it's supposed to come in, but their shade match for what it looks like online, on point baby so i'm gonna take their mirror beauty um foundation brush as well and this is what i'll be blending out my contour with because it's dense so i like how it blends it and this stuff blends so well it just looks good they said it's in sephora which i ain't been into a makeup store in so long because i've been uh, shopping for this baby but baby, I cannot wait to go buy some makeup because all my good stuff, like even my Juvia's face, I only use it for like almost like special occasions just because I'm running out. So I'm like, I have to use my drugstore stuff because I mean, it ain't like I've been going anywhere anyways, but still. It'd be nice to use like the higher end makeup. Like, I get it, it's pricey, but if you can afford it, it's definitely worth it. Like, save your coins by all means, but if you can spend a little extra bread, you'll notice. And then that's how I snatch my nose. I go all the way up to my eyebrow, even though we can't see my eyebrow. And then I'll go in with the beauty blender and I'll blend out that middle part. Because I kind of want for the tip and the end to stay the same but that middle part is fine see and now we can go in and set our face now i normally bake with a beauty blender so and this is a dry beauty blender um and i take the maybelline fit me in the shade 10 fair light and I'll go in with this one first. And then if it looks too, too bright, then I'll go in with the banana powder. And that tones it all the way down. Like, all the way down. So you ain't got to worry about it. Oh, that's, that's too light. Like, <laughs> yeah, you'll be all right. You'll leave. So I'll take some on the beauty blender. 
and I press it in. On the side of my nose too, cause I get real oily right there. And y'all see how much brightness it gives me? Sometimes that's too much, but I don't know. It's kind of like just enough. So I don't think I'm gonna bake. I'm just gonna press this in and call it a day. Yeah, and then I'll get like right here so that it makes that contour pop. Yeah, see the difference? I really want to try the, um, I really want to try the Lord Mercier, Mercier, whatever, uh, that powder, because everyone talks about how fine it is. Yeah, like I said, I ain't been buying makeup. I don't know when's the last time I lost some makeup, honestly. Like, <laughs> I really do not be shopping for makeup like that. Because whenever I do, I will splurge. Like, I will buy so much makeup, it don't make no sense. And so, because I've been trying to save, I just been not, I just been staying away from it. Shoot. YouTube pay me, but he ain't paying me that much to just be splurging on makeup now. <laughs> I'm gonna need a little more bread if y'all want me to try more makeup looks. And then for my nose, I am gonna bake that down the middle. Because I need for that to be popping. And then a little here. Nah, I'm gonna um, go in with some bronzer and I've been liking this uh, Maybelline Fit Me bronzer in the shade 360 Mocha, but mm, I think I wanna go back to my butter bronzer because that, that Mocha shade is very uh, cool tone, whereas this one's a lot warmer. And I'm really not wanting a cool look. So, going with my handy dandy. <laughs> but that contour. Contour be on point. And am I going to do blush? No, I don't think I am. I never really do blush though. So, I'm not really a blush type of person. Because the only blush that I will do is... uh orange and so that is not what i would need to do like i would have to do like a pink blush and i just it's out of my comfort zone honey like i don't know if i'll be able to pull that out and then i'm gonna take um a fluffy morphe brush and i'm going to contour my nose just a little bit to set what i did just off with this random brush I just picked up because why not? And when I dust it, I'm kind of blending in the other parts too. Cause yeah. That way it's not too harsh. Oh yeah. See now that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and put my highlight on. And I just go in at the tip. And then right here. And I'm gonna do my inner corners. And I'll make those super bright. I like that look. Yeah. Ooh, my under eyes. I'm tripping. Tripping, tripping, tripping. So I'm gonna go in with this kiss. Um his professional luxury intense liner and I'm just gonna um line my waterline in black and I would be doing like lighter colors and all that other stuff but because my hair has those darker highlights it just makes sense and I'm not going heavy with the stuff I'm just 
enough to make it black child. I don't want to be too dark. And I'm going to set my face with my Mario Badescu first. I'm going to do a brown lip. <laughs> Basic layer. I'm going to go on with my Charlotte Tilbury Intense uh, Lip Cheek Pillow Top. And I'm going to line my lips. Let's see. Okay, I definitely should have uh put on lip chat. Mm, no, hell no. I got this glossy uh glossed. I don't even know what is this. I had it from Sephora, apparently. <laughs> it's called gloss. Let's see what this one's giving, because... The other one was not it. I know what I'm giving. Crusty freaking lips. Whatever. We're just going to do this gloss and call it a day, because I need to take my pictures before the sun go down. And I ain't got time to play. I'm trying to erase this crustiness, child. That don't make no sense. But, hey, this is the look. Let me go ahead and get dressed real quick so that I can make my intro and my outro. All right, y'all. So, this is the final look. Turn down bomb because your girl was worried almost the whole video. My makeup was messing up and my hair was messing up. But, y'all, when I say I came through... <laughs> I came through, baby, and then got the V-Day nails, like. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I really hope y'all enjoyed this Valentine's Day look. At least you know what you can do when it comes to wig and a little makeup. Get you a little full face beat so you can be looking cute for your boo or for yourself. Because let's, let's not play like Valentine's Day is just for if you got somebody. Because if you don't got nobody... You don't need nobody. You know what I'm saying? We got each other to sit here and watch each other YouTube. <laughs> How about that? But yeah, thank y'all so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure y'all tell me in the comments below what y'all doing for Valentine's Day and what video y'all want to see next. And I'll see y'all in my next one.